nice is to be fair. I don't know why my answer's on the screen. That's always useful. Um, what was I going to say before all my words came out? Um, yeah, so I think that the your quizzes tomorrow are regardless. I was trying to be nice. And so I went to that for you and I said, oh no, my class is going to be a little behind. Everyone else either quiz on piecewise on Friday or today. But my kids are working so hard and trying so hard to learn piecewise. We're going to wait and that quiz till Tuesday. And then first period came in and seriously, someone asked me if y'all had homework your weekend. Like I hadn't given you time in class Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I hadn't said all last week, hey, page 23 and 25 are due, and you kept telling me Monday. And lo and behold, it is Monday. Yet some people don't have that done, which means they haven't practiced graphing piecewise on their own, which means they can't graph piecewise on their own. They haven't practiced it. Um, so, man, that stinks. They're already missing the graphs. And then what stinks worse than that is if you miss the graphs, there's no way you're going to figure out the domain and range. You have to get the graph correct in order to get domain and range correct. And then you won't believe this, but we were working through our checkpoint, and some people couldn't evaluate correctly. So you can't, some people can't evaluate, can't graph, and don't know how to tell the domain and range. And we spent two extra days and everybody else. So why did I spend two extra days and everybody else? If this was going to be this awful of a quiz, why don't we just get it out of the way and do it on Friday? Just go ahead. So that's why I'm confused about life. Maybe y'all will unconfuse me, make me feel better. I highly doubt it. So my original plan for today is now out the window because people didn't do what they were supposed to do. So my plan was Ellie gets her checkpoint completely done. Ellie shows me her homework. Ellie gets one more chance. She needs in a little extra practice. I was going to let her and her group do this cute little cut and glue. I thought, oh, we'll do this cute cut and glue one last practice time. Guess what? Ellie's not going to disappoint me, but I can pick on her anyway because she doesn't care. Um, truth is, Ellie didn't do her homework. Ellie's still nowhere near her checkpoint. It's going to take her the whole class period just to get past her checkpoint, just for me to say good kudos to you on your checkpoint. So we're never going to get to my cute little activity that was supposed to help you practice. And it was really good because not only did you get to practice graphing, but you also got to practice domain and range. So now my, heart, my feelings are hurt. I'm just going to have to get over it. If you're wanting a little extra practice, it's just nine problems. It's just nine graphs. I guess really in my mind it's 18 problems because it's nine graphs and then domain and range for each. So I get how it's a little more than that. But if you're wanting a little extra practice, you'll ask me. I'll also give you a couple bonus points for it. It's not a bad idea. But instead of us doing that with our groups, Lord knows I need to give Ellie her time to apparently finish her homework she should have done over the weekend anyway. And then two, lo and behold, I'm telling you, I still have people last year who did not pass their checkpoint. If when you leave the room today, you have not passed your checkpoint, you know I need to see your face zero period. Because we're taking the quiz tomorrow regardless. So if you don't pass the checkpoint by the time we leave the room today, you need to come see me zero period because you have a quiz tomorrow second period. And so if Anne-Marie doesn't, Anne-Marie will. But if Amory doesn't, I'm going to put them to zero for that checkpoint. And I thought checkpoints were just a gimme get rate, so that's really disappointing and depressing. Okay, last period I made the same challenge, and I'm sure it will go well this period because you're always getting quiet. Um, I'm not very good at getting out points today. I'm mostly just trying to help people get past their checkpoint. So as long as your group is not on my last nerves, because seriously, I had a group last period end up at negative one. That's just kind of how it went. Group one, I'm telling you, it's just I guess because you're so close to me, I know when you're so distracted. I don't know. Um, bless their hearts. So everyone should end up with good points today just for being alive and doing math and math class. Math they should have done over the weekend, but I digress. Can someone help me with one of our three? Yes, Karen. Okay, perfect. And her group can have a point. And if you wanted to check yourself, you could distribute. Again, my first thought whenever the direction say factor is, is there a GCF? Is there a GCF? And there is for this one. It's 5. 5 goes into both terms, so we pulled out a 5. Okay, number 2. Yes, table 4. Oh, Jax. I couldn't even come with your table number, Jax. Uh, 4. Negative 6x, 2x plus 1. 
That's perfect. You pull that a negative 6x because they both have an x. They both are divisible by 6. Negative 12 divided by negative 6 is positive 2. Negative 6 divided by negative 6 is positive 1. He did a great job. He could always check himself in his review. I like his answer, but does someone have a different one? Yes, Nick. 6x negative 2 minus 1. X minus 1. Okay. So Nick has a different answer. He factored out a 6x and I'm a negative 6x. Now, I think life is easier with Jax's answer because he factored out the negative. Everybody inside the parentheses was positive. Whereas with Nick, since he didn't factor out a negative, everyone inside is still negative. So I would have done Jax's way, but Nick is also correct. Nick, you can have a point. <sighs> Goodness gracious. Although maybe I should take it away because she's one of the ones I'm talking about. Look at her doing page 23 right in front of me. <sighs> okay, number three. Yes, quiet table. Who are you? It's like I don't even know you. Uh, I said I have two X and I have Y P for Is that what I did last period? I don't even know. Yeah, it is. That's correct. Good. Are there any questions about this? Okay, then I'm going to stop recording because, let's be honest, Ms. Compton said all she needs to say about piece wise, or so I think. Let me say one last thing because if you come up here and show me yours, I might cry if it's like this. Um, there was someone who came to zero period, sweet, sweet girl. Her graphs did not look like this. She had drawn her fence. I'll give her that. She had drawn her fence line. She had. And she had a graph on one side. But the other graph, instead of doing it on the opposite side of the fence line, it was on the same side. She had two graphs on the same side of the fence line. Do two people live in the same lot? Maybe if it's like an apartment complex, but my neighbor's house is not on top of me. We have a fence in between us. I live over here. He lives over there. He does not come near my side. Except for this one day when he creepily did. But I pray that never happens again because he scared the bejesus out of me. True story. He just popped on out the woods. I was like, super weird, but whatever. Guess you can't really get mad at your neighbor for that. Okay, so you're working on one of these things. You need to bring me your checkpoints. Uh, if you do, uh, I already said all that. Surely someone heard my word.